And there goes Tennessee Tech University from Cookville, Tennessee. A university that we uh, like quite a bit down here, especially considering how many uh, employees of the Marshall Space Flight Center they've sent our way. Definitely bringing their A game when it comes to their engineering program, and we have definitely benefited from that. So now we're hoping to re-challenge their students to consider outside, to think outside the box and consider uh, new real-world challenges when it comes to developing a new vehicle like this. Bouncing over the first two obstacles, approaching now the speed bumps in the S curve that leads into Dead Man's Curve at the bottom of the first hill. So far, so good. Approaching obstacle number three now. This is the crater with ejecta, able to get through it. Approaching on the rims of craters, old small craters, partially covered by lava flows, each of them two feet in diameter and about three to six inches high. Great to see a team uh, get some momentum going there, Bill. We've had several in a row now have some uh, speed problems. I, would, I, I, for one, would love to see a nice clean run. Darn it, I did it again, didn't I, Rick? You just did. <laughs> oh. It's the Greeny curse. The Mike Greenberg curse. Shout out to Mike and Mike in the morning, ESPN. <laughs> All right, well, they got through it pretty well. Cruising on now to obstacle number six, the cometary debris, a mix of impact craters and ejecta material expelled from impact sites. Let's see if they're able to build up enough momentum to get through that particular obstacle. That's where those knobby tires certainly came in handy on that one. They were able to bite into that obstacle and push through. Making that hard right-hand turn. For your wheel knee radius needs to, or your turning radius needs to be a little bit more. A little bit tighter. toward us here, the next obstacle. Getting a little bit of speed up again. No issues. Nicely done, but then they are approaching one of the more dangerous obstacles on the course, Rick. The steep incline of obstacle eight. As we've noted, this obstacle, no issues there. Well done. This obstacle is actually a little less uh, steep than it was last year. 25 degree incline last year. It's been shaved back to 18 degrees simply to avoid the number of rollovers that we suffered last year. Last year it was a brand new obstacle, which is, I think, one of the reasons why a lot of the, the rovers were having trouble getting over it. This year, though, as, as you say, we left the obstacle, we just scaled it down just a little. We definitely take, uh, take notes on, on how we do each year, how the teams fare with new obstacles, and uh, if we see a lot of them struggling, we definitely uh, don't want to overdo the, the challenge, so we redesign as needed. So while Tennessee Tech is actually having a really good run, exiting the obstacle number nine, the crater around the Apollo 11 lunar, uh, lunar module, let's send it down to the starting line where our new broadcast partner, Markeva Morgan, is standing by.
Tech crossing the finish line at a score time of 5 minutes, 28 seconds. Not a bad time at all. So barring any penalties, that could actually prove to be in the, in the top 10.